You know, my son, my older son asked me a question this morning. My older son asked me, Mom, why are we not enough for you to take care of yourself and be healthy so you can live? <laughs> and he's a very wise old young man, is what I call him, because he's very wise. And, you know, that was a mind-blowing question to me because I don't think we ever think about that. You know, sometimes... We want what we want. We want our cookies, our pastries, our goodies. And, you know, I am not doing the best of health right now. And I'm very unhealthy in my eating habits. I don't eat a lot, but I eat a lot of bad things. So cookies, pastries, that sort of thing, chocolates, all the good stuff that is really bad for, it's good for our souls, but it's bad for our bodies. So, you know, this year... It's kind of uh, one of those things where I started thinking of my goals and the goals that I always make every year. And we always pressure ourselves with trying to do too much too fast. So I took it easy and I don't start my goals until January 15th. But in this case, I'm a little bit late. <laughs> but I have been making habit changes. And one of those changes is to drink more water, but also to get moving. So if you are in the same situation and, uh, you know, you have been dropping the ball on those things, I definitely want to encourage you to do that. Just start building better habits. And I think we can support each other. You know, I love decor. Decor has been my entire passion my whole life. But I, my health has suffered because of it. So I'm thinking instead of taking you around so much shopping, I'm going to take you around with some of those habit changes that I'm making so that you can also be encouraged to make some sort of small step and small change that is going to be for the better. So that's what I'm doing. So today I went into Dollar Tree, as you guys saw, and they have so many beautiful things. But, you know, one of the first things I go to is to buy a lot of chocolates and cookies and things like that. And today I just didn't do that. I was so proud of myself. Today I actually bought water because I forgot my water. And so a lot of times I go around walking from store to store dehydrated. But I'm going to try to start walking on my own because I have been not really feeling well at all. And I'm having health issues and women's health issues. <laughs> and, and my, you know, we're getting to the, towards that age where you start having those kind of issues. And you really have to stop and think. And I might even need a minor procedure. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through with it. But, you know, pray for me because I, you know, I was very afraid. And I went to the doctor and I kept asking God today, you know, give me an answer today. Because I was looking at those birthday cards and I was asking, give me an answer to what, you know, calm myself, calm, calm me, find something to calm me, calm me. And whether it be in birthday cards or the card section, you know, because I truly believe that God talks to us via different channels. But as I was Whatever. saying, you know, we have to make changes and it starts with baby steps. And so that's what I'm doing. I want to drink my water and I'm even going to go further than that. And I'm going to walk from one store to the other, which is there's, I'm parked at Dollar Tree, but I want to go to Ross, which is way on the other corner. It's like a whole, what's well, like a whole block. <laughs> I haven't walked that much in a long time. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I've gained so much weight, guys. So I definitely have to try something. So I'm so thankful and grateful and blessed that my son said those words to me because I truly will not forget them. And, you know, whether I live as long as I live, I want to give it my all. And I want to know that when I'm gone, that I did my best to be here as long as I could for my children. And that's what I want to tell you because when you put it in those words and in those concepts, you really truly understand what you have to do and the kind of choices and decisions you have to make every day. So instead of cho showing you so much coffee, I'm going to start showing you my water so that you can be encouraged. Get off your butt and go get your water right now. <laughs> I'm going to go walking and then we'll see where the day leads. I'm probably going to cut it short because this is a kind of a long video now. But I'm going to do it in segments. So it's going to be a continuation. Kind of like a soap opera, if you know what I mean. So if I cut you off all of a sudden, then the next day will be continued. 
I hope you guys will support me in these type of videos. Vlogging, uh, you know, it's going to be everything, whatever I'm doing, wherever I'm going, whatever I'm eating. So you can see my habit changes and just chatting about that. I hope you guys will enjoy. Thank you so much. I'm so truly grateful for those of you that are subscribing, those new people. I see you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much. May you have a beautiful, blessed day. And remember what I always say, to live well, healthy, happy, and organized. So now I'm going to walk the talk, or what is it? I'm going to, well, yeah, something like that. I can never remember things. You gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah. Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah. And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that. Don't let somebody take your time and your work, just focus on yourself first. Don't let somebody take your time and your work, just focus on yourself first. Guys, spring has sprung here. What? <laughs> Even summer things are coming out. I really think that spring and summer has an overlap of things. So, you know, you could carry spring to summer with just a few little changes. And they still have some Valentine's Day things. So if you didn't get a chance to get them, this is the time to get them for next year. Now, these are beautiful. Look at these. These are so classy and elegant. If you don't like the color in gold, you can always paint them. Always look at the decor with those different types of eyes where you can actually change things around. Now, all these beautiful pieces you're looking at, these remind me so much of RH Style Restoration Hardware, but definitely also Lux for Less, like this gorgeous vessel. Oh my God. It looks like one of the ones I've seen at Home Goods. And look at these architectural sculptural looking designs they're so pretty and it might be a little some of the pieces may be a little cheesy when you get close but you can always spruce them up like i said by putting a fresh coat of paint that's a little bit different or you know you could put your own diy elements to it <laughs>
but well, quite a bit winded, especially when I first started. Mm. But now I'm pretty much done with my water, and I did quite a bit, a little bit of damage at Ross. Let me tell you, they had so many beautiful things they just got in. Guys, you have to go check out Ross. They have so many beautiful, so beautiful decor. So I will share some of those hauls in my other channel, Glam Elegant Living, and also here, the half and half, because they're different sty uh, styles of decor. Here's more eclectic, the other one's more Glam Elegant. So yeah, so anyway, so I'm gonna go get my stuff because they're holding it for me for, um, I can't carry all that stuff. But it's not really a lot, it's just uh, beautiful things, but anyway. So I'm going to get that. I'm going to go home, have some lunch, and then we'll see what the day